This is Evan Abrams for PremiumBeat.com and in this After Effects tutorial we're going to be creating 3D text that goes around an edge and rotates like a 3D object. Now we're going to be working in After Effects' 2.5D environment but it'll create some interesting results and this is a very common motion typography technique that I think you'll enjoy using. So let's open up After Effects and get into it. So the first thing to do is create a new composition. I'm using the HD TV 1080 29.97 preset and a duration of 30 seconds. Hit OK and you're ready to get into it. So the first thing you'll notice is my background is black, but it can also be transparent. So don't be too alarmed by that. And uh, we're going to be creating 3D text that moves around. And if we're working in 3D, we're going to need cameras and we're going to need null objects. So I can create a null object first. I'm going to make it 3D. Then we create a new camera, and I'm using the 50 millimeter preset camera, to keep things simple. And then I'm gonna create a new light, and that light is gonna be a point light with the uh, casting shadows on intensity 100%. I don't think we're gonna be casting too many shadows. I'm gonna put it at 50, I think that'll work for me. Now I'm gonna parent the light to the camera, call up the position on that, and then hit zero, 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 meaning that light is going to be directly on top of the camera. If we look at back or the left or something, you can see sort of where things are in relation to each other. Uh, so this is the null object, and this is the camera and the light. Look back here at custom view one. Here is the camera. You can see its focal plane here, right at where the null object is. So let's go back to the active camera and start making some things. I'm going to create a new text. And I'm just going to type out text on that. That seems perfectly good. I'm using the Futura LT uh, Heavy. Now I'm going to take that text and I'm going to make it 3D as well. And then I'm going to hit Y, which will give me control over the anchor point. And then I'm going to hold down control and it's going to snap my anchor point to one of the control points of the layer. Now, if you're not in Adobe After Effects CC, this may not be a feature that you can use, but uh, if it is not, then you can simply move this anchor point around and you can use the anchor point options by hitting A while selecting the layer to decide where it's going to be. However, I am lucky enough to have Adobe After Effects CC and I can make use of this specific uh, part of the program. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to call up the scale and I'm gonna put a keyframe, start it at zero. I'm gonna move ahead 10 frames and I'm going to end at 100%. So this thing scales up to 100. Now I'm also going to look at my null object, see that its central axis for rotation is right there in the middle. So I'm now going to drag my layer, which uh, I can control by holding down control and snapping its feature like its center to the center of that null object. Now I'm also gonna look at this from the top and I can see that this is right on top of the null object and I would like to move it ahead a bit. Now I'm also gonna duplicate this next and let's move ourselves into custom view one. And then I'm going to move this holding down that control button or that uh, command button. And it's going to move this and snap it to this other layer right there. I can then hit W and shift and I can alter this by 90 degrees to have it come off the side here at an even 90 degrees. Now, the, these two things should be parented to that null object, so that when I start rotating the null object around, these will rotate as well. But for now, let's work on positioning those. So I'm going to go back to my top view, select both of these, and I'm gonna move them so that they basically line up in a square around this object. Good. Let's go back to the active camera. So as you can see, they both animate up from nothing up to 100%. I'm going to call up their keyframes. I'm going to easy ease them. And then I'm going to go into those keyframes, grab the handles and pull them to be slightly more interesting. So they come up like that. Good. 
So uh, let's have them actually take uh, 20 frames to come on like this, but uh, we can't see the second one because we are just not in the right spot. So I'm going to look at the null object. I'm going to call up its position and rotation, and I'm going to use position and orientation on this one. And I'm going to move ahead and drag the second text so that it starts when our camera movement starts. And we already know the ending because it's going to be on at 100%. So we can then rotate this thing so that we are able to see it. And we could do something like this perhaps so that it rotates in sort of an interesting way. And we could even use the position to bring this a lot closer. So let's, uh, let's start it around here perhaps. Yeah, we we'll push a little bit further back, maybe. Now we'll take those keyframes. We'll easy ease those, so then it comes up like this. This is scaling up, and that's scaling up, and it's all really very interesting. And the light is shining on this now, so we can see it. So I think that's working out very well for us. And then we can create even more of these. So I'm just going to duplicate this layer that says text. I'm going to hit W. And I'm going to make sure that my cursor is over the X here so that when I rotate it, I can hold down shift and have it at 90 degrees. And then I'm just going to hold down control and it'll snap this to the other points. It'll always snap points to other points, even in 3D. So let's move this ahead. It comes on like this. I can hit Y and I can move this to be around here. So I can move the anchor point and it'll snap it in 3D to that spot. Now I would also like to have the orientation and position change so that I can read this text a little bit better and like this. So it's going to whoosh come up like that and all of these should still be easy eased. And you can see how you can continue building in a 3D way to have all sorts of sides and shapes simply by holding down the control key or you know, on a Mac the command key and snapping everything together. So that snap is really crucial to getting all of these things lined up at 90 degrees and holding shift is also very important. Just keep that in mind. And we're just repeating the word text, but if you made a duplicate of this and you wanted to do something else, like uh, put in your name or something, you're going to notice that the anchor point is no longer in the same place relative to the shape. You have to hit Y, and you have to move this to its new correct corner, and then you can snap that onto a corner like that. And then you may need to adjust the scale of the end of this, but don't worry, it's uh, it's not that difficult. But that is pretty much all you need to know, and the rest is up to your creativity. So go ahead and, and get creative and snap things to each other and make use of being able to adjust this at right angles, create a whole maze or a line, and always move this null around to get the best view of the things that you want to look at. Or you can use the camera to orbit around, but I recommend if you're animating a rotating object, don't swirl the camera around it. It'll get confusing. Anyway, this has been Evan Abrams for PremiumBeat.com, teaching you how to create right-angled 3D text that scales off of each other. Stop by PremiumBeat.com for all of your music and sound effects needs, and check out the blog on PremiumBeat for tips, tricks, and tutorials in After Effects and other applications, not only from myself, but other experts. If you want to see more of what I do, check out EvanAbrams.com, or check out my YouTube channel, EC Abrams, on there, or hit me up on Twitter, at EC Abrams. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. And if you subscribe to all of Premium Beats channels on YouTube and Vimeo, then I'll see you next time for more stuff. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you around the internet.